Welcome everybody to another question from our AWS Solutions Architect sample exams. And in this video, the services we're going to talk about are EC2 and ELB. And the question is from the AWS Solutions Architect Associate sample exam question 2, which can be found on the AWS website. And the question is, your web application front end consists of multiple EC2 instances behind an elastic load balancer. You configured ELB to perform health checks on these EC2 instances. If an instance fails to pass health checks, which statement will be true? Now, all these questions, I think a good thing to do is try and visualize it or even draw it on a bit of paper. But I've helped you along here by actually throwing up this diagram. So that's basically what they're asking. There's an elastic load balancer and there are three EC2 instances in this case. And they're saying what happens if one of these EC2 instances fails? And of course they give you some choices. And they are A, the instance is replaced automatically by the ELB. B, the instance gets terminated automatically by the ELB. C, the ELB stops sending traffic to the instance that failed its health check. And finally, D, the instance gets quarantined by the ELB for root cause analysis. Now with all these questions, I always encourage my students to, to take a good look at the question and the answers, even if you don't know anything about it. Sometimes you can just nut out, just from pure logic, the answer to the question. Well, not the specific answer, but sometimes you can get rid of answers and uh, work backwards sort of a, by process of elimination. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about, hints in the question. Are there any hints in the question? Well, for me, I looked at that question and went, quarantined. What, what is quarantined? I mean, I sort of know what the word means. But in all the AWS documentation that I've read over the years, I'd never heard that word. So that's just a standout there to just get rid of that answer. It's not going to be the answer. And then you're left with three more. So what are they saying? So they're saying the instance is replaced automatically by the ELB, or the instance gets terminated automatically by the ELB, or the third one is the ELB stops sending traffic to the instance that failed its health check. Okay, there's probably one thing you need to know to work this out, and that is the an elastic load balancer is just a load balancer. Okay, it balances load. It can't, in this scenario, when it's by itself, it can't automatically replace instances. If it's not incorporated with auto scaling, it can't replace or terminate instances. So you need elastic load balancing and auto scaling to be able to to perform what they're asking you for question for answer A and B. So the instance, excuse me, A, the instance is replaced automatically by the ELB. Well, no, it can't do it unless there's auto scaling and they do not mention auto scaling in the question. And also B, sorry, the instance gets terminated automatically by the ELB, same reason. And that last point I have highlighted there that I've just brought up, if elastic load balancing finds an unhealthy instance, it stops sending traffic to the instance and reroutes traffic to healthy instances. Now that's directly out of the AWS documentation. However, if you didn't know that, but you knew that you need auto scaling along with elastic load balancing to replace or terminate an instance, then you can work out the answer from a process of elimination. So again, I'm going to reiterate what I've said early on. When you get these questions, especially if you're in an exam, you look at the question, don't understand it or it doesn't make any sense, have another read and sometimes, and actually most of the time, there'll be answers there that just don't make any sense and you can eliminate them straight away. So with all that, obviously, what's the answer? Okay, the answer is 
see that the ELB stopped sending traffic to the instance that failed its health check. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Question number two. We're going to move on to question number three, possibly, or I'm thinking of maybe doing a couple of the sample questions from DevOps and a couple of sample questions from the sysadmin and going through those. If you have any, if you subscribe to this channel, you have a choice, any choice, just uh, put a note, make a comment and say, yeah, I'd love you to do some DevOps questions or some uh, sysadmin questions. Love to hear from you. Okay, uh, I'll talk to you again next time.